In this video, I'm gonna talk about a formatter and uh, why do we need a formatter? What is formatter used for? So I'm gonna give you a scenario. Suppose you provide a page for save customer information. Okay, uh, let's say in your customer form dot gsp page you're gonna look like this okay uh, you have a customer name customer name suppose it's a first name and have one and a customer last name let's give another one last name okay you have another one and then you have a phone number phone number Okay, you have another one here and you have a like a submit okay and uh, now you have uh, two domain model let me write domain model here one is the class called the customer okay the other one is called the class this is another one okay class called the uh, phone in the phone you, you have a private private uh, string what's the thing private string area code okay then you have a private string prefix private string number okay and you have a getters, uh, getters, uh, setters, and setters. Okay. So in your customer, you have what? You have a private string. What? First name. Okay. You have a private string. Last name. Okay. Then you have another one, which is a private phone which is a one to one relationship okay in this case and here is the phone and you also have also have a setters and the getters okay so in this gsp when you submit you are submit your class your um, form into a class let's call controller customer controller Okay, we annotate this one with controller. And you're gonna submit to this method called the post mapping. Let's give a very easy name called self, okay? And here you will have a public string self. And here in the parameter, you have a user. Okay, oh, sorry, not a user we're using customer so customer okay and as we know when we submit a form it will if you have a domain object here the spring we are trying to do the data binding now let me complete the gsp code for you okay so we have input for the first name we have input name equals what's the value should be here the name this one is bind to first so here you have to using first okay and you have another one input name equals this one is bind this this one is bind to last name so here you got gonna using last and now the problem is for this phone number input name so the problem now here is what should i put here okay do i need do, if i put a phone let me put a phone here okay so suppose for the phone phone number this for the phone number phone number i type 641451 okay so how this submit to the controller will be the type of string 
and if you put phone here, and which means you want spring to bind this string type, bind, you want it to bind to this phone type. You want a spring to bind. So how does spring know to convert this string type into an object of a phone? Spring's automatic data binding doesn't know how to do that. And in this case, okay, we need to tell Spring. And what's the solution is called formatter. You as a programmer, you have to create a formatter to tell Spring how to bind this string value into this phone object. That's when and where you using formatter. And uh, in my next video, I'm gonna show you how to write a code. You actually implement a formatter. Thank you for watching and see you next time.